All right, so today is, uh, I guess, officially day one <clears throat> in the Sea Ox restoration. It's a 79. I'm not sure if it's a commercial hole or not. 23 foot Sea Ox. Um, it's been sitting for a couple years. The floor is completely shot. Uh, it's all spots all the way up to that step up there. And underneath that step, I'm sure the floor is shot as well. I'm gonna remain optimistic and hope that all the stringers aren't completely shot, but in the event that they are, it's really not gonna hurt my feelings because I'd rather, you know, take everything out the first time and do it the right way. My plan is to acoustic board all of it, stringers in the floor, the transom, uh, I'm not, not too sure about. That's not really my priority. It's got some pretty decent uh, stainless brackets on there. They go to the floor, and then it backs and sandwiches the transom there. The plan is to, you know, fill in the transom, make it solid, and put put a newer, maybe a new used motor, or if I can convince myself I'm doing it, brand new Suzuki on it. The camera's not even looking at me. Um, but the main focus is to get, get this thing on the water uh, this summer. Hopefully it'll be reliable. I don't plan on going too far, too far away from land where if I need to you know get a tow won't be too big of a bad too big of a deal and uh, won't be too bad uh, I pressure washed the shit out of this thing over the last two days I took the took the starter off and cleaned it up it turns over but it's just not getting enough juice I don't I feel like it's I don't know if it's a starter problem or or what I'm not I'm not gonna claim to be an expert I'm kind of learning along the way I had an older gray white that I did a similar thing to, not as uh, not as extreme, you know, it, it sat in the field, in the motor, you know, it was just, just basic maintenance stuff. So, this one's got like a weird patch on it somewhere too. I don't know if it's like in the water jacket. <laughs> My girlfriend's dad, he's been a big help in identifying all the errors we have and what needs to go and what needs to stay. So, uh, not gonna lie, I'm really winging it. I'm kind of nervous about cutting this center console out that's going to be my first step it's cutting that out and looking what it or seeing what it's like underneath um it's been re-glassed before you can see down there and it's not really a professional job taking this thing home this whole center console was just swaying back and forth but there's just soft spots everywhere i'm going to do away with this thing probably to get a cooler that mounts up here figure something out but I guess I'm going to start cutting and hopefully I don't do anything wrong. I mean, I guess it's only so hard to just cut out the center console, right? Should be an easy day. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's where I'll start. And uh, we'll see if I screw anything up on the first try. Hopefully I don't. I guess I got myself in the shit now. It's uh, not too pretty under there. That stringer's gone. That stringer's gone. That don't look too good. Oh God, what a good time. so that was a pain in the ass got the console up and out <sighs> everything looks like shit <sighs> so 
I get to start cutting out floor. Yay. This is going to be a good time. See if I can cut the floor out and get the tank out today. We'll see. Wish me luck. Let's see if we can get this damn gas tank out. Well, it looks like I've got to do stringers. Lots of shit. Son of a gun. All right, back to work.